Um, you know, I felt good in the gym. Uh, I, I was really feeling sharp and stuff coming into coming into this fight. So, you know, I did. I, I don't know what what he was going to really bring to the table, but I know that whatever he bring, I was going to come out of it looking fairly sharp because that's the way I was in the gym when I was training. I was sparring with heavyweights and I was sparring with cruiserweights, and I was really going to work. So, um, I really felt good coming in. What's next to you? Um, I don't know yet. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna um, go back to Miami. Uh, my manager have um, his work cut out for him now. What he's gonna do, and um, I wait for um, what he say. Were you just, did you know going into the fight when you took the fight that it wasn't gonna be for a title, or did you just find that out? No, I was told that it was gonna be for a title when uh, when we first um, signed on for the fight. But you know, at the end of the day, it don't matter. I mean, it was a meaningless title anyway, so. You know, it really didn't have that kind of you know, significant where, you know, if I would didn't have any championships before, I believe it, then it would mean something. It would mean more to me, I should say. But at this stage of my career, I'm hunting money, not really titles. Yes. Speaking <laughs> of the money, um, when they pushed the, the fight down to eight rounds, did that decrease how much you made? Uh, no, no. We, we, we um, you know, we, we stayed steady at, you know, financially where we were for the fight. Um, you know, it was only, actually it worked out fine because, you know, it didn't make any sense I have another two round, keep doing the same thing. It wasn't, you know what I mean? I felt like it was a one-sided fight. There is no need for us to really go another two round or, 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 or whatever to prove nothing. So, yeah, it's, it's fine the way it is. It didn't seem like you had to make too many adjustments out there. Did you feel pretty comfortable from that first round on? Um, yeah, I, I went out there in the first round. I really wanted to see what his punches feel like um, early on. And, and he threw the first couple of punches. He, uh, he caught me with that first left hook he threw. And I, I recognized that I was all right. And uh, I could really start taking chances. And then I just went to work. How long have you been in the gym for this part? Um, I never left the gym. I oh. mean, you know. So it obviously, matter, like, obviously, you know, when you're in the gym, just just working out, just shaking out. You're not training like you're fighting. Obviously, you're just shaking out every day and stuff like that. When when you get the word, uh, whatever time you have to work with, then you really start stepping up your level. So um, I was getting ready for a fight that fell out. So I was in fairly good shape up until that point. Then I heard the fight fell out. Then I, I back off. Uh, for a few days and stuff, and then I start hearing rumors about this fight. So then, uh, about a month ago, that this fight might happen, even though they were still chasing behind Ray Jones. But my manager said, "Listen, this fight is out there and might happen." So uh, I had roughly about three, four weeks when I heard that. So I start going back to him and stepping up my game. And then, like the last two weeks or so, we got the word that he was going to do it. Are you surprised that he kept his hands down the whole fight? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, he was able to take my shots. Obviously, he's a bigger guy. I mean, we weigh fairly the same amount of weight, but he's naturally a bigger man than me. So, you know, he, uh, I, I, I was, I mean, I'm not a big puncher anyway in, in my regular weight class. I'm not like a, you know, a, a, a James Stone or anything like that. But, you know, coming up in weight and uh, fighting a bigger man is. He presents some challenge for punching power. So, what way were you training at um, before? Oh, I'm a light heavyweight. Light heavyweight. I mean, I'm a light heavyweight. And I would be going back to light heavyweight. Today. So, the fight that fell through, fight. the fight that fell through, that was supposed to be a light heavyweight fight? Okay. Now, did the weight at all, did it, did it, was it a factor for you in this fight? Um, I don't think so. I mean, you know, I seen, I felt like I was much more faster than he was. I was able to catch him with cleaner shot because I felt like, you know, I could snap and, and go away. A lot of the times I try to take some of my punches off to throw a combination, but he was rolling back, um, you know, so much. And especially when I tried to feel myself trying to load up more because I knew it was a bigger man and he was taking my punches, I was trying to get more into him. But it was, the result was the same. So you know, eventually, when I started realizing that I wasn't going to take him out, I started to just say, okay, let me just go and, and do my regular work and start doing combination. Those are the rounds where you see I start going to work a little bit more instead of waiting for those big shots. It looked like he was uh, protecting his body. You think his yeah, body shots hurt him the most? Yeah, he spent protecting his body. I believe his body is weak, and um, you know, it was giving the head shots because he felt like he could take the head shots. He, you know, so 
I mean, it worked out for him. I mean, I wasn't able to let my, you know, when he would use his head when I tried to get in there to work the body and stuff. So that kind of made me stay away. If I was struggling on the outside to hit him, then I would force my way to the inside a little bit, take the chance of head butt or whatever, try to get to the body. But I was working so good from the outside. And he made, in a sense, I take the chance of getting head cut, um, head butts and, and all of that stuff, getting cut and all that. So. Well, how do you feel? Because you look like a young man out there. How do you feel right now? Well, you said it. I feel like a young man. I mean, you know, it's easier for me to say anything, but you on the outside looking in, you should tell me what I look like. Yeah, you look good at practice. Right. Jazz, very consistent throughout the fight. I was, I was surprised that he threw so little punches and you threw so many. Yeah, that was, yeah, especially considering, he, you know, he's a bigger man in there. And you always had him backing up. So that was, that was really impressive. Uh, Thank you. Um, I know you, you had retired last year, you know, after the, the Fon Farrow fight. Um, but you know he's he's doing pretty good now, yeah. and uh, yes. is is that you know considering after seeing you know him achieving success after that fight, did you think you know maybe you know I got more left or you know what what decided to make you come back? I mean no, my decisions didn't have much to do with him. I mean I was at a place at that point in time when retirement was the right thing to do, and after those that phase passed, I, I recognized that you know I think I still have some stuff in the tank and. Um, I might I want, want to go and try and achieve some more stuff, especially I see uh, Ray Jones is back, Tara is back, um, Bernard Hopkins is doing so well, that's sure um, give me some motivation to, to try and do something myself. All right, um, I think Roy Jones, he's fighting at Cruiserweight, so you can find him right at this weight. Uh, Hopkins, you probably have to drop to a light heavyweight for that. Uh, Tarver, he's the, man, he's, the man, he's the man I would like next. Uh, you would like Hopkins? It's possible, oh, That's, it's possible. Okay. that would be the guy I would like next. He's, he's the only man to stop you in your, your career. The only <laughs> man to do it. And I've been chasing him ever since. Uh, he and I talk about it many times, but he never really buckled down and do it. Just a bunch of lip service. All right. Well, best of luck for it, too. Thank um, you. I appreciate that.